Hello, we are discussing about gate 2009 EC paper. Find the value of current source I. This is, this is. Find the value of current I when 60 volts voltage source is absorbing the power and all sources are given are ideal. Okay. So, you must remember one point. If a voltage source, let us assume this is a voltage source. If a voltage source is delivering power. Okay. Voltage source can sometimes deliver the power depending on the circuit and can sometimes absorbing the power. Generally, sources are going to be delivering the powers. In very rare cases, very few cases, they may absorb the power. Okay. So, generally, if a voltage source is delivering power, that is this is plus minus which is indicating with voltage source. If it is delivering power, at that time current direction is like this power is equal to V into I. I is the current coming from this power supply power voltage and V is a voltage source. Now this power P is equal to V into I is called as power delivered to the circuit or power delivered by this voltage source. If a voltage source, if a voltage source is absorbing the power, is absorbing the power is nothing but which is taking okay current from the some other source which is taking current from the some other source is nothing but the direction of current is i then the power is equal to v into i this is absorbed power power absorbed whereas it is power delivered so depend this current direction indicates whether it is delivering power or whether it is absorbing the power okay not only in case of voltage source in case of current source also if there is a current source, this current source delivers power if the voltage across this current source is like this. If arrow pointing towards positive terminal, then current source delivers power. Current source delivers power. Otherwise, if a current source is absorbing power, then the voltage source must be minus plus. If the voltage across this one is minus plus, then that implies current source absorbs power. Okay, absorbing the power is nothing but consuming power. Delivering the power is giving power to the circuit elements. Okay, now we are coming for this one. 60 volts battery, 60 volts source is absorbing the power. The meaning of absorbing is current is coming inside of the battery. So say it as IS. Now apply KCL at this point, apply KCL, KCL at this point we know the current flowing through this one is I and current coming through this branch is IS. What is the current coming from this branch? Since this 20 volts and 12 amperes both are in series, same current flows in both elements. So current flowing through this 20 volts is also same which is going to be equal to 12 amperes. Now by applying KCL. Okay, at this node, we can write incoming currents as negative, outgoing currents as positive. I plus Is is equal to 12 amperes. Okay, and we are going to calculate I. Remember that one, both are positive only. Both are positive currents only. So, I is equal to 12 minus Is. Okay, so I is equal to 12 minus Is. So, otherwise, you can write it as I we are going to find and IS can be written as IS is equal to okay, 12 minus I. So, to get IS positive, to get IS positive, I must be less than 12 amperes. So, which satisfies this condition? That is current I must be less than 12 amperes then only you will get the is value as positive so which satisfies this condition that will be the answer check about this one a 10 amperes 10 amperes is less than 12 amperes so this is right answer and others if you are checking this is 13 that will give minus current okay 15 minus current 18 minus current current is negative is assumed direction is opposite so if you are using 13 amperes then IS will be minus 1 ampere. Minus 1 is it is delivering the power. 
because current direction will be taken opposite with 1 ampere so then 60 volts delivers power it won't absorb only in this case it absorbs the power so the right answer for this question is a itself with i value of 10 amperes thank you